Seven new ministers says New Zealand isn't a tax haven for wealthy foreigners, despite a 60 Minutes report showing wealthy foreigners dodging inland revenue by using trusts here. While some might call it tax evasion, Peter Dunn describes it as, in his words, legitimate tax avoidance, and the Prime Minister backs him. Here's Patrick Gower. Inland revenue, also known as the tax man, has always claimed it's our job to be fair. But now the revenue minister says when it comes to wealthy foreigners funnelling money here to avoid paying tax, that's, well, fair enough. I think the, ta the term tax haven is a gross exaggeration because it implies illegality, it implies tax evasion rather than legitimate tax avoidance. Yes, Peter Dunn said, quote, legitimate tax avoidance, even though the Inland Revenue website says tax avoidance is wrong and the average taxpayer on the street says Dunn is wrong too. I think there's such a thing as legitimate tax avoidance? No. So is that fair? No, definitely not. Yeah. I mean, we, every day citizens have to pay it, students have to pay it, so I think everyone should have to pay it. I'm actually not smart enough to do tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know how. The government's desire for a tax tax saw it introduce what's been dubbed the paperboy tax this year. But on this avoidance issue, the Prime Minister says Dunn has got it right. But he'll be using the absolutely correct technical term. So there are two two things that are talked about in tax law. Going back to my days when I studied at university, tax evasion and tax avoidance. Well, there's actually quite a legitimate business in New Zealand for servicing foreign trusts. Keith says under the law, tax evasion is illegal. But tax avoidance is not. The Prime Minister's telling ordinary taxpayers that they're there to pay all the taxes, to pay for the schools and hospitals, and billionaires and the ultra-rich don't have to pay tax. Look, tax avoidance, tax evasion, it's basically the same thing. There are three million New Zealanders paying income tax. Peter Dunn wasn't commenting further today, so we asked Inland Revenue for a list of legitimate tax avoidance measures like those used by foreign trusts. As yet... No concrete answers. Patrick Gow, 3 News.